Hello friends, I welcome you again to this channel where we are learning English language and literature. Friends, in this lecture, today we are going to discuss the Elizabethan age. In our previous lecture, we discussed the literature, English literature which was produced before Elizabethan age. We discussed the literature which was produced till 1550, starting from the beginning from 5th century. And in this video, we are going to discuss this golden period of English literature, the Elizabethan age. This is the photo of Queen Elizabeth. Sometimes students ask us why this period from 1578 to 1630, why this period is known as the Elizabethan age. The answer is that it is known as the Elizabethan age because Queen Elizabeth was ruling on England during this period and she exercised much influence on the people, on the society. She was the most outstanding personality of the country and that is the reason why this period in English literature is known as the Elizabethan age. As you can see on the screen, Queen Elizabeth reigned or ruled England from the year 1558 to 1603 uh, and this period is considered as the golden age of English literature. And it, it was during this period that there was much influence of the movement of renaissance on England, on English society. Renaissance is the name of a movement which actually began in Italy during the 14th century, then this movement travelled to France and then, then, then it reached England in the beginning of 16th century. Renaissance is a French word, it is a French term, it means rebirth. Some of the important characteristics of this Elizabethan literature that we find during this period are here before the screen. Number one, there was much influence of this Renaissance movement on English art and culture. Individualism was an important characteristic of the literature which was produced during this period. People started becoming materialistic because of the Vasco da Gama, because of Columbus, because of such uh, adventurers, you know, adventurous people, you know, uh, much richness from all over the world, from all different parts of the world, you know, the richness was accumulated in Europe and that's why, you know, much richness came to England and because of that, people became materialistic and this is very much reflected in the literature which is produced during this period. Spirit of adventure is also an important characteristic of this Elizabethan literature. Spirit of learning, people of the of, of England, you know, they started learning Greek ethos, Greek scriptures, you know, ancient Greek philosophies of Socrates, Plato, uh, Aristotle and other philosophers, other writers, they were read by the people uh, during this time. So there was a kind of craze, a kind of appetite for learning 
uh, among the people during this age drama and poetry became the most outstanding forms of literature during the elizabethan age one by one i am going to give you a birds eye view of the major important writers of this elizabethan literature to begin with first we have george gascoigne born in 1535 and died in 1577 gascoigne was the first poet to portray queen elizabeth as a deity in his work gascoigne has presented has shown queen elizabeth as virgin goddess who rules over england his most notable work is a discourse of the adventures of master f j and this is how you know we can say the beginning of elizabethan literature you know is done by george gascoigne another important thing we should know about gascoigne is that he wrote the supposes and this is the first comedy and fiction written in prose narrative the steel glass is another work written by gascoigne and that is the english satire written in regular verse gascoigne also wrote jocasta and this is the first translation uh, of a greek work into english language okay and the last work of gascoigne is notes of instruction and this is the first critical essay written by gascoigne and that is why because of this all contribution by gascoigne you know because of this contribution he is considered as an important author of the pre elizabethan period if we talk about the elizabethan period elizabethan age then the first important poet that we have before us is edmund spenser born in 50, 1552 died in 1599 edmund spenser wrote the shepherd's calendar it is wrote in 12 cantos okay 12 parts as we have 12 months in a year in the same manner the shepherd's calendar is a pastoral poetry written in 12 parts or you can say 12 cantos and this is the beginning of a new era of english poetry this is the beginning of romance the element of romance in english literature epithalamian epithalamian also is a poetry written by spenser which deals with the wedding of spenser himself and it is a subjective kind of poetry in which spenser has expressed his personal feelings emotions in this particular poetry More, not only this edmund spenser has also written about 89 sonnets you know and all these sonnets are published under the title amorety songs amorety songs okay and uh, dedicated an elegy also and it is titled as astrophel for the that of the dear friend sir philip sidney edmund spenser himself a great poet he had a friend sir philip sidney who was also a great poet okay so spenser has written an elegy to mourn the death of his friend sir philip sidney and that elegy is astrophel spenser not only this he introduced the new style of writing poetry in english literature for the first time 
and that new style is writing poetry in spenserian stanza this spenserian stanza he has used in his epic the fairy queen the fairy queen is considered as an epic by some of the critics though unanimously all the critics do not agree with the idea that the fairy queen is an epic but in this epic you know spencer has experimented uh, some techniques of writing poetry he has used and applied this new stanza spenserian stanza and uh, the rhyming scheme of this spenserian stanza is a b a b b c b c c okay because of all his contributions to english poetry uh, edmund spencer is known as the poet's poet so spencer an important poet of the elizabethan age second important poet of the elizabethan age is sir philip sidney born in 1554 died in 1586 astrophel and stella this is an important work written by sidney sidney as a poet is a is a known personality but sidney also became popular as a critic as the first ever critic of english literature and sid sidney wrote the first defense of english literature in english language and that is known as the apology for poetry stephen gusen stephen gusen laid down some charges against the poets and poetry during his times and gusen dedicated that uh, that work to sir philip sidney and sir philip sidney wrote a reply to uh, stephen gusen and that reply was a critical work written by sidney an apology for poetry important thing to note about sidney is that no work of sidney was published during his lifetime all works written by sidney they were published posthumously posthumously means after his death but still his contribution is important as a poet and as a critic another important writers of the elizabethan age was a group of writers which is known which is entitled as the university wits university wits consists of it's, it's a group which consists of seven writers john lilly george pill robert green thomas lodge thomas nash thomas keel and christopher marlow christopher marlow was the leader of this group which is known as university wits in one of our next videos i will i will talk about the contribution of this university wits later uh, right now we don't want to enter into that detail but uh, these university wits were all good friends studying together in the same university and that is why you know they are known this group is known as the university wits they were the major writers of the elizabethan age and now friends we come to the most important portion of this presentation and that is contribution of the greatest of the great william shakespeare shakespeare was born in 1564 and died in 1616 shakespeare is known as the bard of avon bard bard means a poet avon a v o n avon is the name of the village where william shakespeare was born and that is why many critics call william shakespeare as the bard of avon shakespeare emerged out as the greatest playwright of english literature during the elizabethan age 
if you see the whole contribution of william shakespeare then shakespeare in his lifetime has written about 38 plays and 154 sonnets in all his lifetimes this 38 plays he has written different types of plays like he has written some of them are tragedies some of them are comedies some of them are tragic comedies a mixture of tragedy and comedy some of them are historical romances and 154 sonnets okay his four great tragedies are very popular among the students of english literature and they are macbeth king lear othello and hamlet these four important tragedies among his comedies a uh, meet summer night's dream is an important comedy if we talk about uh, tragic comedies then you can say a merchant of venice which is a play a mixture of tragedy and comedy right but william shakespeare is considered as the father of english tragedy and and the most important writer not only of the elizabethan age but also of the whole english literature friends now we come to the discussion of ben jonson's contribution to english literature ben jonson born in 1572 died in 1637 you know he's he earned his fame through his plays particularly comedy of humors ben jonson is considered as an important playwright of the elizabethan age because he carved a special niche for himself I mean Ben Jonson did not follow William Shakespeare he started writing some different kind of comedies which was later on known as comedy of humors he invented he experimented a new type of comedy comedy of humors his famous comedy of humors are every man in his humor every man out of his humor walpon or the fox okay uh the silent woman and the devil is an ass the sad shepherd a tale of robin hood a tale of a tub and so many others these are important comedy of humors written by ben jonson next important writer of the elizabethan age is sir francis bacon sir francis bacon was born in 1561 and died in 1626 bacon is also known as the prince of english essays he wrote about 58 important essays very short essays you know which discuss human knowledge and practical life lessons right bacon is a polymath who worked on philosophy science literature oratory jury etc and his important works include the advancement of learning the novum novum organum and the new atlantis important thing to note about francis bacon's essays is that bacon was much influenced by latin language so when we read his essays you find so many words and phrases of latin language Another important thing to note about Francis Bacon's essays are uh, is that his essays are do very short in size his sentences are very short in size but they are full of stuff even the short sentences of bacon have become the proverbs in our day to day conversation okay other important writers of this elizabethan age are uh, william painter George Chapman, Michael Drayton, Thomas Haywood and John Webster. In one of our next videos I'll talk about John Webster in detail because Webster started a new line. He drew a new line in the history of English plays 
and he wrote some morality uh, plays right he uh, he wrote a different kind of a, of the plays which were not found during the elizabethan age that we'll discuss in one of our next lecture but all in all let me tell you that the trio poets of the elizabethan age william shakespeare sydney and spencer these are the three important poets of elizabethan age apart from these three there were hundreds of poets who were writing poetry and that is the reason why elizabethan age is known as the singing a nest of singing birds and shakespeare's important plays like othello king lear macbeth you know such important plays plus christopher marlowe's important plays like dr faustus Tamburlaine the Great and, and uh, so on Edward the 2nd you know they made this english literature reach in quality during the elizabethan age so friends this was just a birds eye view of the elizabethan literature i hope in one of our next videos we will discuss the writers in detail so far Thank you thank you very much wish you have a nice day